have to use your little table to chop the cilantro. Nope, that's fine. This is the shakedown. What we gotta do, what we gotta figure out. Oh, and it's kind of hard because I spent all last <laughs> spring, summer, fall fine tuning like all the Tacoma stuff. This drawer pulls out, or this tote pulls out this way. The fridge is here. Right. Cutting here, cooking here. I've got my table that I set out and we'll go there with the awning out. So, but today, today we got the Bronco. So, we'll fine tune the Bronco for solo trips. I mean, I can still take the Tacoma on solo trips, but because I've got a sleeping pad that all just kind of levels out right here and then we fold that seat down and goes out that way. It's pretty sweet. Why the Bronco? Um, as a kid, I always loved the square body, you know, the, the super square hood with the big circle headlights, the two doors top off. I don't know if anybody's ever watched uh, Shooter, the TV show. So not yeah. the movie with Mark yeah. Wahlberg. That silver Bronco that he's got, yeah. that's what I dreamed about as a kid. And so right. it was one of those things where I, I always wanted one of those. And they're hard to get, and then you got to restore them and put all that work into it. And they're not com I mean, they can be comfortable, but it's not like modern, luxury. modern, even just your regular car, right? right? It's old school, which is fine, but for hauling around two kids and a wife to go camping and all that stuff. Yeah, no, we stop being rudely interrupted by <laughs> people enjoying nature like that. It's, I always wanted one of those, and then I remember. Had to have been 2020 when they released the the trailer for the the six gen Broncos. Right, dude. I was. I saw that. I too. saw that, and they're mobbing across the desert. I'm like, dude, that thing is so nasty. And then you know, I look up the price, and I'm like, oh, you know, maybe in five, six, seven years. And here it is, almost just over two years later. And I have one, on top of a Tacoma, which I've also always wanted. That's the best part. I so, have a Raptor, dude. That's, I'm the same way. Oh, and I'm oh. sure it is. Like it's, it's, it's one of those things though where like your Raptor is going to be similar to my Tacoma. Like the right. build, the layout, ten on top. Right. The thing that I want with kind of the Bronco, it's my wife's daily driver, right? right. So I can't kit it out. Nothing can be permanent in there. It's got to be the hybrid of the daily driver. I don't want to do anything crazy with it, and I really want to see what it's capable of stock, which is why I brought it out here instead of the truck. Tomorrow's plan. What's tomorrow's plan? Probably hit at least two different trails and find a new campsite. Yeah. Hopefully a little bit earlier. Like I want to get into camp by five-ish. Oh, I know. So it's I'm still gonna... light out. Well, I think it's about time we uh, yeah get those down. sleep setups set up. I know. It's after a rainy night and rainy morning we decided just to pack up and head out we didn't get to film anything unfortunately but hopefully in the next few days we will be able to so we're gonna head into town grab some supplies and then see what trails we can hit it, uh, I thought it was snowing back there for a second
So we finished Gemini Bridges. We're gonna air up now and then uh we're airing up and then what? Uh we got a there's a pass called or a trail called Hurrah Pass that there's supposed to be some camping on it. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research now that we got cell service and hopefully we'll be able to camp on the trail instead of going like to a campground and dealing with a million people or we'll find somewhere out in BFE. Oh yeah, so the, the switch was already on. Yeah. It's like me, I'm always switched on. Always on. That's pretty sweet. pass now it's probably about 40 minutes away but that's where we'll set up camp we'll probably just call it an early night just so that way we can set up in the light so I think this place is called Cane Creek Cane Springs Road and it's it's pretty scenic you could drive this from what it looks like so far you could drive with a car the, the roads super nice really paved well and a gorgeous view. Should we air down? Yeah, I didn't even think about it, but it probably makes quite a bit of difference here and there. Okay. Yeah, just that little extra comfort. This is definitely a lot quicker, and it's nice that you can just sit there, air down, check your pressure, keep airing down again. Thank you. 
Cut. <laughs> I dropped the whole fucking thing in there. <laughs>